Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. In the past three weeks, five of the station's six crew members have been outside in a spacewalk. Russian cosmonauts Max Surayev and Alexander Samakutyayev sped through their tasks on Wednesday in only three hours and 38 minutes. The pair removed and jettisoned a completed experiment and two antennas that are no longer needed, uncovered a new biological payload, and took samples from a window for a study collecting propellant residues or possibly microbes that build up on the outside of the Russian modules. Traffic is about to pick up quite a bit next week in orbit. SpaceX's Dragon is coming home after being in space for over a month, ready to splash down in the Pacific with more than 3,200 pounds of science cargo. Orbital Cygnus will launch to take its spot on Monday, shortly after the Russian Progress 56 cargo craft undocks. Then on Wednesday, Progress 57 heads up from Baikonur, Kazakhstan. For the latest coverage updates and to watch live, check out nasa.gov ntv. This week's Twitter question comes from Vishal, who asked if scientists are using the technology on the space station to search for a cure for diseases like Ebola. Well, viruses like Ebola are considered a little too dangerous for study on the ISS, but we have sent several pathogens to space to learn better ways to fight them. Scientists have sent nasty little bacteria like MRSA, E. coli, and Salmonella, which affect millions of people around the globe. Microgravity provides an environment that can actually alter how infectious these bacteria are, giving scientists a new opportunity for discoveries to benefit all of humanity. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.